Hi Pisces, this is your June monthly tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this monthly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at uh, love and uh, it could be love from the past, existing love, new love, whatever comes up. In the second spread we'll be looking at some good news for you Pisces for the month of June and then uh, we'll wrap things up with the third spread which is an advice for you Pisces for this month. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on love, Pisces. We have uh, the Nine of Wands clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Will of Fortune in the potential outcome. We have the Six of Wands with the Fool and uh, the Queen of Cups. And we have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, with a water sign, uh, just like yourself. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and other Pisces. We also have uh, Aries. Um, Taurus, maybe a Sagittarius or any zodiac sign. This is a general reading, but it's a very specific reading, Pisces. Uh, we start with those two cards, the Nine of Wands clarified by the Five of Cups. Those two cards are talking about the past. So you may have somebody coming back to you, an ex, somebody who hurt you, or it could be a new person, but you're still hurting from what happened to you in the past with another person. Okay, whatever the case, I think. Um, I think if this is an ex, they will um, manage to restore trust, restore love. If this is a new person, this person will help you finish the healing process, even though you're not going to trust this person in the beginning, okay, for the obvious reasons. That's what this whole spread is about. Either an ex coming back to you or a new person, but you're still hurting from some sort of a breakup or a divorce that took place in the past between you and another person, right? The Nine of Wands clarified by the Five of Cups, yeah, both of them have to do with the past. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior, it's a card of somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and the people or person they're dealing with, it's a card of somebody who is closed off, somebody who is suspicious, skeptical, nervous, and all of this is due to that Five of Cups, which is a card of grief and regret. Right? So something happened in the past, either between you and this person or between you and another person. So here comes the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, it's a card of somebody being very honest, very straightforward, very upfront with you. Right? If this is an ex, they may tell you some sort of a truth. Maybe they were hiding the truth or they couldn't tell you the truth in the past, now they can. Um, or they're just going to be very honest with you and tell you they love you. If this is a new person coming in, then yes, they will tell you they love you as well, right? Because the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Cups. It could be a fellow water sign, but the Knight of Cups is the most loving, the most caring, the most uh, romantic knight out of all for knights. So if this is a new person, they will help you finish the healing process, and uh, they will be there for you. They're going to be very patient with you, very loving and very caring. And uh, the rest of the spread, this is either you, if this is either your ex regaining your trust, you're gonna, and you're giving it a second chance, or if this is a new person, they will manage to help you recover from from the hurt that you experienced with somebody else. That's what the rest of the spread is. Like really, <laughs> those four cards. And uh, the card on the bottom of the deck. The card on the bottom of the deck it could be a Taurus, but it is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's a very traditional card, religious card, educational card, spiritual card. That's what's coming up between you and this person. The Wheel of Fortune is either a restart or a start of a cycle. It's a major arcana card. It's the first major arcana card that came out. Right? And then in the, in the potential outcome we have you. I assume the Queen of Cups, that would be you. Uh, the Six of Wands, the first card in there is a card of victory. So somebody is either winning you over or winning your trust or regaining your trust, reestablishing this trust. And uh, the Fool in the middle is either an Aries you're dealing with, but the Fool is, either, is letting go of what happened in the past. And uh, either giving this person a second chance or just uh, letting go of what happened. Okay, Pisces, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward reading. Let me know in the comments down, down below if, whether this is an ex or a new person. All right, cool. Here's some good news for you, uh, Pisces, for the month of June. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the uh, Queen of Pentacles. We have Death, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. We also have Scorpio on the table. I got to be honest with you, Pisces, the first thing I thought of was this Queen of Pentacles is going to get fired and uh, you're going to get promoted. Right? That's, that was the first thing I thought of. 
Okay, because uh, the Queen of Pentacles all the way to your left is clarifying the Five of Swords, right? The Five of Swords is like an ugly separation, ugly breakup. So this, it's, uh, it's a card of when people get fired, all right? Death in the middle is a card of an ending. So I think it's an end for this Queen of Pentacles, right? And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is what's coming your way, so you're getting that job. You're getting that promotion, <laughs> all right? And the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true. It's a card of a satisfaction. And I think that's you being satisfied with the outcome, with, it, with what's going on. Perhaps this Queen of Pentacles deserves it, okay? And if it's not work-related, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's friendship. One of the, the Queen of Pentacles is no longer going to be a part of this circle, a circle of friends. And uh, maybe this person stabbed you in the back. Maybe they were telling lies about you, and uh, lies are going to be exposed, and everybody's going to, uh, you know, get rid of. Everybody's going to be not happy with this Queen of Pentacles, and you're going to be happy because the truth came out, or so, and uh, you're going to be feeling good about it. All right. So one of those scenarios. But I, I believe the Queen of Pentacles is out, and you're in. <laughs> All right. Here's an advice for you, Pisces, for the month of June. We have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by the uh, Three of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. We also have uh, you, the Moon, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, this is a fairly straightforward reading. I, but uh, the problem is, I was kind of looking at it and I was trying to understand... Uh, what's going on here from the advice perspective, from the advice point of view, because it's supposed to be an advice. So this King of Swords is most likely a Gemini and it's their birthday coming up, right? The King of Swords is classified by the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of a celebration. We're right in the, in the beginning of a Gemini birthday season. The King of Swords is most likely a Gemini. If they're not a Gemini, it's still a King of Swords, who is probably an air sign, and they're celebrating something. So the advice for you is to uh, congratulate this person, <laughs> or to wish him a happy birthday. Right? That's the advice with that page of cups. All right? That's you either congratulating them, or if they invite you to their birthday party, or if they invite you to this celebration, to this party, to this event, the advice for you is to go. All right. Um, if you're not invited, but uh, if you want to go, <laughs> wish them a happy birthday, and they will invite you. That's what I see, right? Because uh, the moon right next to the deck—that's your major arcana card, and you're clarified by the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles. This is you. Um, maybe if this—it's their birthday party. Maybe this is you bringing something as a as like a birthday present with that page of pentacles. All right. Um, with the page of pentacles, you may. I don't know, sign up for a guest list or buy a ticket, right? And uh, the other ones on the bottom of the deck is a card of a communication or literally going somewhere or both, communicating and then going, all right? It is a straightforward reading, but uh, again, from the advice perspective, either wish them a happy birthday or congratulate them with whatever it is they're celebrating or go. If you're invited, go. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So that's what I have for you for this reading for this um, month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing June.